Uh, this was, was probably the most hellacious climb of trip trip yet so far, about a thousand feet up. I'm almost done. There we go. There's a the start, Springer Mountain, 6.5 miles. This is a uh, kind of a dirt road, and it's uh, right by this beautiful little church here. There's the famous white blazes. That's what you have to follow. And yeah, we're at it, Appalachian Trail. All right, guys, this is it. This is the star of the trail. Um, look at the view behind me. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. So what are my first impressions of the trail? I think it's awesome. I'm stoked. You know, one of the reasons I really wanted to come out here was just uh, so I could just like walk as much as I want and just be free to walk and then camp when I need to, you know, and camp, walk, camp. Uh, some of the walking I've done in the past was like kind of like rails to trails and stuff and you're going through a lot of little towns and stuff. That's cool, but there's nowhere to camp. And uh, also, actually, I'm already really enjoying the kind of the terrain, just walking through like an actual footpath um, instead of like walking on a flat paved uh, rail to trail. So this is like, I'm just, I'm stoked. This was, I'm really glad I came out here. You can see here the trail is not real too, uh, real not, not too difficult. We're going to be getting all kinds of uh, different terrain, I imagine and ups and downs and this and that, but right now it's pretty easy. Right now I have a, I have three liters of water, just two water bottles. I've never really filtered water from a trail, so this is gonna be my first experience. So, Okay, mark this one for the history books. This is my first river crossing. I know it doesn't look like much, but I don't have a walking stick, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna maybe cross right here. And here we got a guy crossing. Let's see how he crosses. <laughs> I didn't bring a walking stick, so I'm gonna let's see how you cross here. If you need a stick, I got a couple poles. Man. Oh, there you go. I made it across, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, but uh, I know it doesn't look bad, but you gotta be real careful on those little stream crossings because that's where you can uh, really get into trouble. You slip, fall. Not that you just get wet, but a lot of mud there. But uh, you know, that's where you can really get injured and hurt, even killed. You see, I got my socks rolled up so I don't uh, get ticks crawling up your pants. Wow, this is a gorgeous campsite. Unbelievable. I won't be camping here tonight because I got a lot more miles to do. But if, if you're doing the approach trail and you can make it here, this is about maybe 12 miles, including the approach trail. Okay, this river crossing is no joke. They got a little bridge here, but once you get here, look, you got to walk across that log. I, my balance isn't bad. I just feel like, especially with this heavy backpack, my balance is not as good as it should be. Hey, what up guys? Six miles, 6.3 miles in. Um, I about twisted my ankle. It's feeling okay now, but about five minutes it hurt. So I don't know if I got the best shoes, but uh, yeah, it should be all right. But uh, just take a little, Breather. I've had like three or four breaks. This is my one of my tips of doing big miles. But you see, it's only it's only 12:56 right now. So I'm gonna get somewhere between the 12 mile marker or the 16 mile. 16 is like another 10. I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far, but I feel pretty good. Like other than the ankles, like a, a lot of wear and tear in your ankles. So you're, uh, that's probably gonna be pretty sore first couple of weeks, assuming I don't fall again. <laughs> Guys, uh, yeah, I'm feeling it, man. I'm going up hills. I'm closing in on, on nine miles, but last few miles have been going like straight up hills. Whew. Uh, my pace and, you know, I got, everybody's got strengths and weaknesses. Mine's cardio. <laughs> so I've had to take a lot of breaks. I'm still plugging away the miles though, but yeah, hopefully in a couple weeks of doing this, my, uh, my cardio gets in good shape. It's not very good right now. Okay, guys, I need to pick me up or I'm gonna make some coffee here. I got coffee right there. Uh, 
so let's let's get this going and have a cup of coffee and I got a bunch of Twix bars to eat. Just ate four Twix bars, finished up my last one, the coffee. This is what I needed. <laughs> I got this uh, just to protect me from the sun. Took my shirt off. Weather's been really nice, so uh, hopefully this stays up. I mean, just a gorgeous day, perfectly clear, sunny, not too not too warm, maybe in the 60s or 70s. Just, just beautiful. Well, one of the reasons I started later in April is I wanted to avoid the bad weather. I know like the first week or two in April, you can get some bad, cold, wet weather. I, I wanted to skip that. Cheers. Last bit of my coffee left. Wow, that is cool. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if something lives in there. All right, guys, time to collect some water. I'm down to about less than a liter and a half. So this is my first time doing this. You see here, it's really good fresh mountain water we got here. So uh, I'm looking forward to drinking this. Fresh, clean mountain water. Yes. All right, guys, I want to show you something. Uh, so I've had to climb up and down, I don't know, five or six times. It's, it's uh, right now it's going on five, sunsets at eight. So I have to be setting camp probably within two, two to three hours. But uh, you gotta go way downhill. So we're gonna have to go way downhill and it's called a gap. So it's like in between the, uh, and then you gotta go back up. So uh, you gotta do this a bunch of times. <laughs> it's pretty, it is pretty uh, tough. You, know, you don't like go all the way up that mountain, but you might go like halfway up, you know, and then keep going. Hey, uh, look at that beautiful view behind me. It's taking one of my many breaks today, maybe a dozen breaks. It's getting a little bit late. You can see here, 5.30, sunsets at eight, but uh, this was probably the most hellacious climb of trip, trip yet so far, about a thousand feet up, I'm almost done. Uh, remember I said climb that mountain, I'm not going all the way to the top. I think we may have went all the way to the top. <laughs> but uh, I got this just, to, I'm getting hit by the sun a lot. But uh, I might be able to make it a gooch cap because once I get uh, past this next gap, which I'm, I'm gonna be after I climb this mountain, uh, it's pretty straight, it's downhill and straight ahead. So that'd be a pretty easy four miles, I think, uh, which will get me right to uh, Gooch Cap, which would be a hell of a day, hell of a first day. If I make it that far, we'll see. Uh, at some point I gotta probably eat some food. So I haven't had a lot to eat today, but see ya, check in next time. We're almost at the top of the mountain. Look at this beautiful campsite. Too bad I'm not camping here, but uh, this will be a good spot. I'm gonna keep pushing on. But I don't know if I gotta go all the way up that or not, but according to my uh, map, we're close to the top. We did make it to the top of the mountain because I don't see any mountains higher than this. It's uh, 7.15 a.m. and or p.m. <laughs> Getting pretty exhausted. Uh, sun's gonna set in 45 minutes. Actually, it's, yes, 7.13. Taking a little break. Got two miles to Gooch Shelter, three miles to Gooch Gap. Um, try to make it to, I know I can make it to Gooch Shelter, but if I can keep pressing on, I'll camp over by Gooch Gap. Keep pressing. So, uh, But I don't have a lot of sunlight. Hopefully there's a glow. If there's a glow, I could keep pushing um, up to Gooch Gap. But there's a little bit of a climb. So uh, I got a little bit of gas left in the tank and uh, see if we can keep going. Hey guys, you see the sun setting and uh, a lot of the campsites are full. I see people even still camping, but this looks like a pretty nice spot and it's vacant. So I got my uh, my bear bag hanging. It's kind of low to the ground. My campsite's about a hundred feet away. So it's not optimal, but a lot of these, a lot of these uh, trees don't have any branches. Yeah, not bad if it rains. Uh, well, hopefully this protects it. All right, guys, uh, let's set my tent up. There don't seem to be any dead trees. So uh, we're good on that front. You always wanna make sure there's no dead trees around. I think we're okay there. 
Yeah, I got the tent set up and uh, probably not perfect, but I can learn as I go. I think it should be okay.